j'aime, j'aime pas, 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 which means I like, I don't like, I like, I don't like, I like, I don't like. Because it's in my genes, because it's in my blood, because I love India. I'm an embroiderer in Chennai since 25 years. Uh, Madras has a very hidden charm, which grows on your story. And this house belongs to friends of mine, who happen to be, to be the owners of the entire building. And what I love in this building is that the rooms have very interesting sometimes old shapes and it was not built with the idea to show off it was built with the idea to enjoy it i grew up in versailles it was the most conservative and uh, provincial possible city but absolutely beautiful full of greenery full of forest with the palace in the middle i spent lots of time in the palace gardens and uh, I think that's where I slowly started loving anything to do with sculpture, with architecture and with the classical beauty of the French 17th and 18th century. Yeah, I, I have extraordinary memories of the embroidery background of my family, but it was very normal to have young designers who later on became very famous. I remember Mr. Yves Saint Laurent once at home. I remember Mr. Mugler coming. But for me, it was very natural. This is an embroidered version of uh, calligraphy. The artisans I work with have beautifully shown the movement of the brush. At home, there is embroidery, but it's, it's hidden between the pleats of the curtains. It's hidden through the embroidered carpets I have, which look like tiger skins. But it's small touches of it here and there. Having a particular liking for India, a lot of objects, paintings, furniture I live with are strongly and authentically Indian. But a lot of them could equally be beautiful in New York, Paris, Moscow, Shanghai, Tokyo, or Lima. This is a small reminder where I come from. Uh, a Greek god, because the house is already full of Indian gods, so we should also open to foreign ones. This is a beautiful Snoopy. And for me, it's a little bit my Jeff Koons kind of sculpture. I'm not a collector. Uh, as a curator of a museum. And I like the fact that the objects work together and tell a story, any story, but they, they procure an emotion. I like what is warm, and I like things to be a little organic, very natural. A little bit like Alice in Wonderland. For me, objects, more than the way they look, are animated with a certain level of vibration which talk to each other or sometimes argue with each other like it would happen in a family. But am I a maximalist? If I look at myself, yes. It's true that it's difficult for me, even if I decide that the next room or the next house will be very bare, uh, very quickly all this family of objects are running back to spread on the world, spread everything, everywhere. Couples, couples, couples. I seem to be a little bit obsessed by the idea of people getting along and forming couples and families. Angel flying above the others. It interacts with Tagore, who looks to the angel and the angel to Tagore. This I don't know at all who it is. A house for me is not a, a display of wealth or a display of social status or anything like that. A house is a sort of mini universe. It has to express something which connects to my physical perception of beauty and poetry. And if you take the time to read between the lines, you can understand people more if you see them at home.